Welcome to the 1940s. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. <laughs> As you know, it's the 1940s. Mm -hmm. World War II is a thing, food rationing is happening in America, and it's the decade that brought us a lady with real moxie, Diane McLaughlin, a.k.a. Your mom. That's right. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there in two days. Yes. Now, in honor of my mother, we're tasting recipes from her childhood, which is right now where we're at, yeah. when we're at, the 1940s. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the kinds of dishes that people in the future are like, you know, just think of a random year, like say maybe 2023. 2023, yeah. Uh, these are the kinds of dishes that people in 2023 have probably never heard of and might hesitate to try given their very futuristic food preferences. And to help us through this real swell bee's knees of an episode, we have Mama Di, Diane, joining us live via radio. Hey there, Mom. Oh. oh, we gotta get her dialed in here. Hey, Mom, can you hear us? Yes. Hey, it's Mama Di, I'm here. How you doing? H how are the 40s? They're great. <laughs> what, what was the best part about, what was the best part about living in the 40s? Or what is the best part about living in the 40s? Yeah. Well, I don't remember much because I was very young. It was a great time, and uh, what I remember was wonderful. So it was a good time to, to be alive. Did you ha did you have to like you go out and you cut ice yourself and put it in like the box? Well, the ice man came. He we'd come in the ice truck, and he would bring the hunk of ice and put it in the ice box, and See. he would do that like once a week. Yeah. Or sometimes twice a week. And there was a milkman too, right? An ice man and a milkman. Yes. And there was a milkman also that would okay. bring your milk, put it on your porch. Wow. Uh, and it was in a bottle and, and it was tasted very, very good. Yeah, yeah. That's I love I love my ice box and my milkman. Yeah. Now I understand, Mama Di, that you're gonna be providing us with some fun facts about your birth decade throughout this episode, and that's just really Rudy Tooty Fresh and Fruity. Uh, um, I don't think that's the thing that uh, people are saying yet, just oh. between you and me. Really? Um, okay, this one goes out to moms everywhere, especially ones born in the 40s. It's time for Time Travel Tastings, 1940s. Hello there, fellas. It's oh. me, heterosexual Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> about to taste four different actual <laughs> recipes from the 1940s. The decade we're all in right now. After you taste each dish, you'll decide if the recipe makes you say, what a gas, or shucks, I'll pass. And here to deliver your food is Betty Buford, straight from right now, the 1940s. Well, hello there, gents. Hey, Betty. Hi, I'm so excited to share these recipes with you. Our first one is mock banana sandwich. It's smashed up parsnips and banana extract. You know what makes a gal much happier while she's eating a mock banana sandwich? Well, what? Knowing that they just invented the epidural. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. P pain free deliveries, man. I yeah. love it. I love an yeah. epidural. Uh, mock banana sandwich? Did she say, did Betty say parsnips? Yes, she did. So it's not actually bananas. Mama Di, did you get an epidural? <laughs> No. <laughs> yep. He came very fast. We didn't have time for that. That's right. But, but wasn't to the hospital, so. what, wasn't he really long? Oh yeah. Oh yes, he was. Yeah, I had a life to live. I had to get going. I had to get that life going. You know. <laughs> uh, now, mom, do you have a fun fact for us? In the 1940s, every child is issued their first cigar when they turn ten. Whoa. Yeah, because people didn't know about, you know, the effects yet, you know. It just was just good fun for everybody. Okay. Right. Um, right, she says. I, I, I have a hard time believing that. So what's in this? Is it bananas and parsnips or parsnips made? She said banana extract. And then parsnips. And then parsnips, Because yeah. mock is fake. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because parsnips are not bananas. Um, and then This is awful, Link. What's the white stuff? Probably the extract. I don't know, man. I just know that. It's not bad. 
You don't like you don't, you don't like banana flavored things. How would you like this? Because because I'm you're fooled, changing. I'm man. fooled into thinking that it's actually banana. Uh, I, I respect actual banana. I would rather have a banana sandwich with a little peanut than butter, maybe. Banana sandwich. This isn't doing anything for me. I'm sorry. I want to apologize to you, mom, and everyone else born in the '40s. I do not like this mock banana sandwich, but you seem to I mean, be into it. I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna be thinking about it later today. Like, oh, I wish I had another one of those. So when I look at you and you have a faraway look in your eyes, you won't be thinking about this mock banana sandwich. What will you be thinking about? Your mom getting an epidural. Okay, great. Mock banana sandwich. Shucks, I'll pass. Hello, boys. Hey. Well, Betty's back. This is our beloved jelly chicken. It's got gelatin, chicken, uh, pimento stuffed olives, Salt, celery, and there's one more, but it's a long list. It was lemon juice. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, but she, go easy yeah. on it. You know, in the 1940s, only 55% of people have running plumbing. <laughs> run, 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 running, plumbing. running plumbing. You know what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is scary looking, dude. Yeah, so, Mom, put, putting things in gel, jelly, like gelatin, that was a big thing back in the day, huh? Yes, it was. Now, what, why was that, do you think? I think because Jell-O was cheap, and that it was a good thing to do, not spend a lot of money. Yeah, and it, and it was cool, wasn't it? It's was like, wow, it shakes, it jiggles, it's the future. Yeah, it felt very futuristic. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Exactly. Is, is this stuff, is the gelatin, like, broth-flavored? Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, so it's like gelatin with a chicken broth. I'm going full bite. I got two olives. I'm going to get a little bit of these, I'm gonna these get peppers. Some of <laughs> you may not be able to tell in black and white <laughs> just how awful this looks. <laughs> um, but Link is helping with that. You know, if you, like, took a can of chicken noodle soup and you opened it, forgot about it for a couple of days, and then it got real thick on top, and there was like a pe chicken bits floating up there in that like fat layer, and then you just like took that and ate it without the noodles. Yeah. That's exactly what we are experiencing right now. It's not that bad though. <laughs> you know, there are people who drink. Um, you hated the mock banana, and then you, you're trying to like mock this. There, there are people who Gosh. take the jelly in between Vienna sausages and eat it. I was one of those. Um, mm -mm. That seemed to not go over too well with some of the faces that I just saw. I know, it's just like fatty, jiggly stuff, man. Mom, you got any fun facts for us? Maybe that can lighten the mood. You know, no one is lactose intolerant in the 1940s. We, we just drink our milkshakes on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay. That just, did bring my mood up. But <laughs> it just this, goes right through you. This is a nightmare. Uh, yeah, I, this is a tough sell. I got I got to say it's a tough sell. It looks gross in person. It tastes better than I thought it would. But sorry 1940s. Jelly chicken shucks. I'll pass. Hello, fellas. I'm back. Uh, yes, oh. you are. This is our cola marsh ice. It's marshmallows and cola and lemon juice and salt and ice. Okay. You want to know something else that's sweet about the 1940s? Yes. The most popular breed of dog was a Cocker Spaniel. Great. So a marsh ice. So amplified. I've never heard Just of like it. Yeah, Self-amplified. Yeah. yeah. They didn't have megaphones right, in the 40s. Right, right. There's lemon and salt in this. Interesting. Mom, do you ever have one of these? A cola marsh ice? No. I have not heard of it, and I've never had one. Mm, okay. Well, well, I'm having one right now. I'll give you a full report. It's very sweet from the marshmallow. The cola? Very strange. And the lemon together. That's actually a nice, that's a nice little combo. Marshmallow kind of gives it a little bit of like a root beer float, or yeah, a Coke I, float. It really does. I think that the marshmallow has just disintegrated into like a soupiness. And the salt is not bad either. It adds this little bite to it. I think it's maybe better than a float. You're not a float guy. I'm, you don't like parades or, or floats. I don't like root beer, so I'm liking this a lot better. You like a cola float. This is, this is fun. It, it gives you a little bit of a pucker. Maybe a fun fact from uh, Mama Dye will help us make a decision. 
These days, a tank of gas only costs a friendly wink and a firm handshake. Oh, whoa! A tank of gas. A tank of gas is just—it's a barter system, and there's no <laughs> there's no exchange of currency involved. Um, the fun facts did give me more fun, mm-hmm. but I already knew that this was this is unlike anything I've ever had. Yeah. And, and I recommend trying it out. Cola Marsh Ice. What, what a, a gas! gas! Hey, do you love the GMM neon sign design? Well, you can have it on a plug, and then when it gets dark, it lights up. Because it's a nightlight. Put it LED. On a plug. <laughs> Put it in a plug. Every night, let your mythicality glow. It's a good mythical nightlight. Get yours available exclusively at Walmart and Walmart.com. What's that? <laughs> It's a box store. Is that Sam's idea? <laughs> Is that the thing Sam's been working on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I supposed to come in now? Yeah. Come on in. All right. Hey, good hey. to see you again. <laughs> this is the carrot and peanut butter sandwich. It's got grated carrots, peanut butter, chopped raisins, mayonnaise <laughs> on white bread. It's a very innovative creation. You know what else is innovative? The aerosol spray can. It just came out, and it will definitely not be an environmental problem in the future. No. <laughs> yeah. What's the ozone? I mean, um, if, if I was blindfolded, I'd just think it was a peanut butter sandwich. Because peanut all- butter covers a world of hurt, but does it cover a world of carrots and, gr- and raisins, did she say? Yeah. I like raisins. This seems like baby food. I like carrots. It just tastes like a peanut butter sandwich, but you're getting... Something that's good for your eyes. It tastes like ants on a log without celery, which means it's better than yeah. ants on a log. Yeah, it does. Y'all know about the ants on a log. Y'all had that growing up, right? Sure, yeah. When you get a little bit of the raisin, it's not overpowering. This, this is a something. It's actually really good. It's Mom, you remember, so good. you remember making me those ants on a log? Yes. You loved peanut butter. Oh, uh, you could put peanut butter on anything. Still do. Yeah. You got another fun fact for us? Sometimes we pass notes in class using our giant typewriters. <laughs> giant typewriters. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. Wow. That's a, that I'll, was a fun I'd fact. Lo- I'd love to see that. I'm loving this. Carrot and peanut butter sandwich? What, what a, a gas. gas. What an unexpected gas. Why is this not a thing now? You know? Well, it can be. That's what this show's all about. Uh-huh. It's bringing things back. And fun facts. Let's have another one. Yeah, let's die. have a closing fun fact, Mom. People think drive-in movies are for smooching, but we really are just doing our taxes. Oh, wow. oh, that's what it was about. That's how you did it your taxes. It was just about the taxes. Back then. Well, <laughs> Mom, thanks for joining us. Happy Mother's Day in a couple of days. What, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Just taking it easy. Boy. And enjoying being a mother. Oh, well, you do that. <laughs> You've been a good one. You still are. (laughs) You still are. You're still my mom. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Have your Mother's Day, Mom. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. I'm Brandon. And I'm Sarah. And we're from Orange County, California. We're on our honeymoon in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And it's time to spin the wheel in mythicality. Congratulations! Click the top link to watch us jump on the water talk trend in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. Get your glow on with our custom GMM nightlight available at Walmart and Walmart.com.